Before we get into today's video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comment section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Did anybody do anything special? Let me know down below and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. So in today's video, I'm going to be informing y'all on a few things. First thing is though, before we get into that, please excuse my hair. I don't know what it's all over the place. If you did not see on my Casually Christina channel, this video right here, and you are interested or wanna know, a little bit nosy, just curious, you guys should go over to Casually Christina and check that video out. Because if you don't know, I do have a second channel. It's more casual, laid back, that type of style. I also have a Patreon. My Patreon is for 18 and up. Over there, we talk about more personal story times. We go live. It's a good time if you're 18 and up and you'd like to join. And I also have an Instagram and all of those are always linked down in the description box if you'd like to come and check me out. So I'm going to be updating you on the news reportings or the documents that were released in the Aiden Fucci case. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about what little Aiden's girlfriend said. Now you guys know that Aiden was 14 years old when he was arrested. His girlfriend has been questioned. And so some of the stuff that she said was released as well as some of the stuff that his mother and y'all know that his mom got arrested for tampering with evidence. Okay. So some, some other stuff that she said, which we didn't know before got released and that is wild. And then some of the stuff they found in his room and also some of the stuff that Aiden said. So real quick, I already have a few videos talking about everything that happened with little Tristan Bailey and Aiden Fucci, what we know so far, Fusi, Fucci, that kid, sorry. I already have some videos on that, so you guys go and check them out. But just to bring you up to speed, little Tristan Bailey went missing on Mother's Day of this year on May 9th. Her mother went into her room to call her out for breakfast, and she was not there. Around 10 a.m., they really started to panic. They looked for her. They could not find her. And then hours later, her body was found lifeless, laying on her right side, we now know, in a wooded area. And she had been stabbed 114 times. As they started to search more and they started looking at people's security footage and ring doorbells, they found that this little boy walked with her into the woods. And when he came walking out, he walked out alone and without her. They went to question him and they found that he had blood DNA on his shoes. And then later they found out that he had some DNA on his pants and he was arrested. Then again, later his mother was arrested for tampering with evidence because it is alleged that she was trying to wash blood out of his jeans, which let's talk about that. So in the reportings that were released, now this is all alleged, they have not gone to court yet. They have not been convicted yet. So this is still all alleged. Go and do your own research and form your own opinions. I'm gonna read y'all this part of the article that shocked me, okay? You ready? Let's do this. Aiden's conversation with his parents at the police station. After the discovery of the body, the boy's parents spoke with him in an interview room at the sheriff's station. Upon being told his mother that Tristan was dead, he responded, how is that my problem? She told him he was the last person to be seen with the girl. His parents questioned him about his actions the previous night and asked him several times about what DNA or physical evidence might be turned up. Both advised him to find his story and stick to it, the sheriff's documents say. It had been earlier reported that after he was taken in for questioning by the deputies, Aiden's mother hand-washed a pair of her son's jeans. During the conversation recorded in the interview room, he told her he had been wearing jeans the night before. She asked him if there was anything on them and clarified in a whisper, blood. 
She then suggested to him that he had been wearing khakis rather than jeans and added, right? And he agreed with her. You guys, she literally in there, they got him on camera, okay? And he's in there saying, yeah, I was wearing jeans that night. And she was like, no, you were wearing khakis, right? He was like, oh yeah, right. She was literally trying to cover this up. You guys, there is a complete total difference with having your child's back in actually going out of your way to cover up a murder of your 14 year olds. Okay, there is, that is totally different. In my opinion, it's all my opinion. I mean, and who am I? I mean, I'm nobody special, I'm just saying. But she literally sat there, according to these documents, and said, no, you were wearing khakis that night, right? And he's like, oh yeah, right. And then he had the nerve to say, when they told him that she was found dead, how was that my problem? Like, okay, so going on to this, Aiden had a little girlfriend, allegedly, according to all of this, and the girlfriend had a friend, and the friend did not like Aiden. And she would later say because he was a numb child, like he was numb. And they asked her what she meant by that. And she said, well, he had no feelings about anything to anybody. He didn't care about anything. And then it also comes out that when they searched his bedroom, they found all kind of like disturbing drawings, lots of things that they considered to be satanic symbols and stuff like that. And then also drawings of women who had had they had x's red x's over their breast and their genitals and then they would have like their limbs removed and blood squirting out of it and then also the little girlfriend and I, they didn't release her name and probably because she's a minor and that's a really good thing if I was her parents I would have her laying low I, I would would hope she didn't have social media or she wasn't on it saying she was his girlfriend just like this is not the time sis like duck and keep going because you don't even want to be brought into this whatever. So the girlfriend told the investigators that he had been saying that he was going to murder somebody, that he wanted to kill somebody. And that a month prior to this, he actually told her and I guess some other people that he was going to drag somebody into the woods and stab them to death. And this is another place where I feel like kids, they say things, they try to act big and bad. They try to act hard. However, those, those types of conversations are not something that any child or any person should be joking around about or, or saying things like that. And I think that us as parents, we need to be talking to our kids. We need to, we can use this as teachable moments in our own lives and in our own children's lives, because for whatever reason, all these kids had things to say about this little boy, but nobody took him seriously. The girlfriend also said that he carried around a knife with him and he named his knives Picker and Poker. And then it also said in the article that when they searched the home and see, and this is where it gets kind of blurry because you don't know who these, were these Aidens or were these the fathers or the uh, whatever, but they said that they found eight pocket knives. They found a homemade shank and then they found a couple of the switchblade types of knives. Oh, and another thing is the girlfriend, just when they were asking her, okay, this picker or poker knife that he said he was gonna stab somebody and kill him with, what did it look like? She allegedly described the knife to a T, the one that they found in the lake. Okay, now if you guys weren't keeping up with all of it or you don't remember, they found what they believed to be the murder weapon that Tristan was stabbed with in the lake. And the reason why they believed that that was the murder weapon was because the tip of it was broken off and that same tip was found in Tristan Bailey's skull where the girlfriend described that exact knife. And they haven't released that picture of the knife to the public. They've told us what kind of knife it is, but they haven't showed us what it looked like. So for her to be able to describe it, I really am curious to see what this little boy's defense is gonna be. I did listen to a video. Probably not mature enough to fully understand the consequences of the charges he faces. He also says statements in court documents suggest Fuji could have mental health issues. It opens the door for many defenses to come in uh, on this young man's behalf. I think they're gonna take that role. They're gonna take the age and he didn't really know what he was doing and he had a lot of mental illness and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Do you think the age, I mean, 114 times and he was telling people 
for months prior that he was going to kill. I mean, he knew what he was doing. You guys, 114 times. 35 of those stab wounds were to the head and to the neck. He would later say that he walked into the woods with her. He tried to kiss her and she grabbed him and he pushed her. And when he pushed her, she fell and hit her head and he left her there. And that was the last time that he saw her. So that so far is his story. The reportings also talked about Tristan and how her body was found. She was found laying on her right side. It also said that a cell phone was found, her cell phone. She had $20 on her and a cotton candy vape, which she's 13, she was vaping. Who gave that baby that vape? Ooh. Anyways, all of the items they said were completely covered in blood, like, oh. And they also said that on her ankles, on her left ankle, the word in blue ink, karma was written. And on the right ankle, she had in blue ink drawn a, a smiley face. And they're, they don't know right now who drew those things. I so that's about it for the update for now. I am so shocked that the mom did that. Does she not know that they're being recorded in those rooms anyways to say, oh no, you were wearing khakis and then to also tell him you better find your story and stick to it. Now I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt for that part because they said that Aiden was giving, changing his story constantly. And so they were like, well, you better find your story and stick to it. Um... I mean, I don't know. There's a part of me that feels for her as a mother because you're in a desperation, right, to protect your child. But then the other part is like where, you know, and I'm not, I want to be sensitive here just because I don't, I don't know. I'll say it this way instead. Let's all be diligent in finding out what our kids are into, seeing what they're drawing, paying attention to if they seem numb and helping them if they are. There were other kids that were around him that said he definitely seemed like he had mental illness. That's it for today's video. What do you guys think? Have y'all heard about this? I, I think it's probably going to go to trial. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it's going to, I don't know. Do you think he's going to take a plea deal? There's a lot of evidence against him and there's a lot of people that are going to be testifying against him. And the parents sending so much love to the everybody that loved Tristan. Like, and this is such a big deal too. It's everywhere. I'm sure that's got to be difficult on them as well. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my loves, please do not forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. We are